Hi, welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. I'm guest chef Anita Italiano, and I'm here to make some pasta vizool. We used to have this every Friday night at my home, and this is the way my mom made it, so this is the way I'm gonna make it, okay? So we've got some onions and garlic, and we're gonna bring it to the stove and saute it. First thing we're gonna do is turn on the stove to about a medium heat. Okay, and then we're gonna get some extra virgin olive oil. I'm using about a quarter cup of the olive oil. I like using premium virgin olive oil because you know you wanna get it as good as you can. And it may look like a lot, but it's, it, you need to do this. You really need to do this. Okay, so then we're gonna get about a half of a medium onion and we're gonna saute this. Oh, and once you start smelling this, it smells so good together. And then, this is a pressed garlic, and we're gonna get about three to four cloves mixed in there with the onion. And we're gonna let this saute. And again, we want it on medium heat. We wanna let it saute, and once you get it to a nice sizzle, and the onions are clear, they're transparent. You want to go ahead and turn off the heat and let that set for a while. While the onions and garlic are sauteing, I am going to go ahead and uh, start the water to boil for the pasta. And then over here I have three different pastas. I have ditalini, which means little thimble in Italian. I have the piccolini, which we call little seashells. And we have this cute little cut up spaghetti. My mother used to cut them up, get the long spaghetti and cut them into pieces. Now they sell them like this, isn't that great? But this is the ditalini, this is what my mom used and this is what I'm gonna use. And I think that's the right way, right? We're gonna get some uh, tomato paste and we're gonna go ahead and go back over to the stove. Okay, now that we see, before the garlic starts to burn, we see that it's good and ready to add our tomato paste, okay? And we're going to go ahead and add the whole six ounce can of the organic tomato paste in with our mixture and stir it around. I'm using the tomato paste as you can see, but you can use stewed tomatoes, you can use tomato sauce, whatever's in your cabinet is good. That's why they call it the peasant sauce. You use what you have. Okay, perfect timing. The water is boiling. I'm gonna turn down my tomato mixture to a simmer. And I like to add some salt to my boiling water. And I'll use about, I don't know, a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna add my pasta. And that's two cups of pasta to about four quarts of water. And that's important, you guys, because that's gonna determine the thickness of your pasta vizool. You want your pasta to cook about seven minutes to make sure it's al dente, uh, especially when you add the sauce. You wanna make sure that that stays at consistency. So we'll see you back in seven minutes. Perfect, the pasta is al dente. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skim off about a cup of water, and we're gonna get rid of that. That's to get some of the starch out. And then we're gonna add our tomato mixture in, the water that's actually boiling with the pasta. So that's the secret here for this pasta vizool. And we're gonna get it in and we're gonna mix it and we're gonna stir it and we're gonna sing the old Dean Martin classic. When the stars start to drool just like a pasta vizool, that's amore. So, when you stir it, you gotta sing the stirring song, okay? Or it's not gonna come out right. Gabish. While that's cooking, we're gonna add a 15 ounce can of cannellini beans, also known as white kidney beans. And we're gonna use the juice and all, so don't, don't drain these. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. Go ahead and get the rest of the beans out give it a good stir, and then we're gonna let that go ahead and still cook, and then we're gonna add our spices. All we're gonna add is salt and pepper. It's just basic, remember? This is peasant soup. So we're gonna add about 
a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and stir that in. And then we're gonna spoon it into our bowl. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious, you guys. It is gonna be so good. Okay, that's the consistency we want. Okay, now we're gonna test it and see how it tastes. Mm. I think I need a little bit more salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that. And again, it's to your liking. So you, there's no really measuring going on right now. You just add it to whatever you think. And I grated some cheese. This is Parmesan cheese. We'll grate a little bit more. This is a good quality aged Parmesan. You gotta use the good stuff here. It's worth the little extra you pay and it makes a huge difference. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of grated cheese to mine. I'm gonna mix it around. Oh, this looks so yummy. Oh, that is delicious. It's hearty, it's basic. It's just some salt and pepper added in. And that's the way we wanna keep it, basic peasant. So another thing I wanna tell you is get that bread, get that good Italian bread, tear it off, dunk it in and taste it like that, it's great. Lady Yum Yum, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. I miss you, I hope your move in Oregon goes really well. Thanks for watching guys.